Hello and welcome, I'm Daria and this week at Neat and Tangled uh, we have a really fun collaboration going on with my sweet petunia, the uh, the company that sells Misty tool that's actually the most incredible stamping tool in invented and I can say this now for sure and it's funny that uh, I've never thought that I would love it so much but after using it once I really want to use it um, more and more each time as it makes stamping so easy and effortless and I would say mistakes less <laughs> so uh, today I'm going to make my card using uh, two of the uh, newest stamp set from Neat and Tangle and Misty and I wanted to show you how easy it is to make two identical panels with a rather complicated uh, flower pattern. So I took two panels of a white cardstock of the same size and I make a note uh, where I position them. I'm positioning them on the middle of the Misty because I knew that um, some of my images will go behind the uh, the borders of the paper. I'm starting with uh, deciding where I want my image to be and I'm placing the stamp on a paper and then secure it on the misty door by closing it. Right. Then uh, it's actually the easy part comes on. Mist is very easy to use. I'm changing my panels between the stamping, applying ink each time and cleaning the stamps right at the misty door before my repositioning. That's very important to do if you don't want to have any um, marks uh, from ink residue while trying to figure out where your future image is going to be stamped. Uh, it's also uh, easy to do multiple stamp stamping uh, like I'm doing here. I'm placing the biggest flower, then the leaves, then some dots and then I will add some smaller flowers from this set and you can see that uh, once I'm satisfied with their position it's, it becomes really easy. It actually may look like it took some time but to say the truth it took me only about 10 minutes or maybe less to stamp both of the panels using Misty. So it's quite a time saver I would say. Moreover it would be really hard to stamp two identical panels without it because anyway you would move a little bit uh, your stamping, you will move a little bit your acrylic block each time and and at the end you don't get the same result. Uh, another bonus is that you can restamp your image so easily so if you found out that you want more vibrance in color or your image didn't stamp perfectly although did I mention that with Misty it's hardly ever happened you can do it really easily just ink your stamp once again and you got a perfect image perfect sentiment or perfect pattern like we have here so now when we have two identical panels I'm going to use one of those to stamp my uh, second uh, image and that would be a frame from Ornate Frame Stamp Set and that's a stamp layering set that means that you have three stamps for each image to achieve a more in-depth dimensional look for your final project so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take each of the image and stamp it with different shades of uh, lilac colors from lighter to more darker one. It's really easy to line up. And when I'm done with stamping, I'm going to take coordinating dies and die cut my frame. I secured the die with the help of washi tape and cut it through my die cutting machine. And now I have a perfect frame that goes uh, perfectly with uh, my another panel and aligns perfectly with all the other images so they look continuous and it of course adds to the interest. For my sentiment I used everyday label stamp set and stamped the love words in bright pink to add some color accent to my card. As you see I fussy cut it with my scissors and um, I also plan to add some sequence from Love and Sparkles mix from Knit and Tangled that will coordinate nicely with that pink color. I also cut it a strip of um, 
a silver metal uh, paper to add some interest to my card. Now I'm adhering uh, it with the help of double-sided tape. And I'm going to use the lines on my mat to align it straight and perfectly on my on my front panel. I've decided to pop up my frame uh, over the front panel and I'm going to do it with the help of foam tape. And actually while I was cutting it to a smaller part so it fits behind the frame, I was thinking that actually these little frames would be so perfect to make little shakers and maybe you can make several on one card or make only one shaker with this frame and making it a central part of your card but I'm definitely gonna try this out and I'm inviting you to try it with me and show me the results. I think it would look really cute and really cool. But here I've decided to stick with the plan and not to change uh, something uh, on the way. So, so I'm taking away the backing sheets from the foam and trying to align all the images stamped in black both on the front panel and on on the frame. I'm also foam mounted the, the sentiment and uh, adhered my front panel to the card base on a, using a foam sheet and um, industrial double sided tape. It's a really strong one. I finish it up with a few sequins and my card is ready and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the Neat and Tangle blog for your chance to win a Misty tool and stop by and leave a comment at uh, my Sweet Petunia blog to win a $100 certificate to a Neat and Tangle store. And all week long uh, our designers are going uh, to showcase uh, more ideas and more projects using both of these products and also offering either a $15 certificate to the store or their favorite uh, stamp set. So keep your eyes open. And thank you once again. Um, please leave me a comment if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to answer and hope to see you sometime soon. Uh, have a great day. Bye.